Stan. Hey guys, uh, so welcome to a sudden Q&A um, that in order uh, to best uh, celebrate <laughs> Independence Day, what better character to do a Q&A about than the Sentinel of Liberty himself? The man, the star-spangled man with a plan, Captain America q and I want to thank everyone on on Patreon who sent in questions. And as always, if you guys would like to be part of these Q&As, just hit the link below, head on to my Patreon, hit the first tier. And also as an added bonus, I'm not alone in this q and I've got a buddy with me. Uh, say hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. <laughs> Very funny. Um, yeah, Mount Vernon Kid is going to be uh, joining me on this q and I thought this would be kind of a fun uh, one to collab on. And yeah, so let's see how this goes. Uh, starting off with David Deister, who asks, do you think that the new Ultimate, Cap uh, Ultimate Marvel Universe will introduce Sam Wilson? I think they will. I think that's given, right? Uh, so, for everybody who is reading the ul new Ultimate Universe, um... The whole process of, especially the Ultimates, are trying to fix what the Maker, which is the 1610 Reed Richards, uh, he stopped a lot of heroes from becoming heroes. So uh, there's a lot of them that are not even in this universe. Uh, Captain Marvel is not going to be in the universe. But Sam is, there's no, men, no not mention of that Sam not being here. So we will probably see him uh, sometime in the future. Yeah. Because the ultimates are, the ultimates are pretty good. I mean, they, you got Cap, Thor, Sif, uh, Doom, which is Reed, uh, Wasp, and Ant, uh, Giant Man, and I know they also brought in uh, Jim Hammond, Human Torch. So, yeah. Yeah. I think it's more of a matter, not of if, but more of when. Right. Yeah. Second that question. Second question. Do you, uh, what would a Captain America Doctor Who crossover be like? Uh, I think what I got right now is that maybe have it that um, maybe I don't know the Red Skull altered the time, like altered history, with the help of I don't know the Master or the Daleks and Cap. Uh, and the doctor are trying to fix it. Yeah, I, yeah. So I, I can go with that. That that would make uh, legitimate sense. Like, you know, doctor and his his companions. Like, there's one person that could probably will be able will be able to handle this Red Skull guy, and then they go back and bring Steve with him. Or like maybe uh, the doctor finds out that like. Uh, Cap is going to be is going to be killed, and that's going to like because it's like Cap's disappearance is like a fixed point in time, so he has to prevent it. Something like that. I don't know. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Third question: If Marvel did a manga anime of Captain America, what story arcs would you like to see adapted? Well, Winter Soldier, obviously. Winter Soldier. Yeah, I would say that. Um, Escape uh, from Dimension Z, the uh, start of the Rick Remender run. Yeah, that that'd be good. Um. Uh, uh, what was the other one? There's another Cap story that I really, um, uh, Captain America No More, where he pretty much, this was at the time of why John Walker took over, because he didn't like, he found out that Skull had, uh, infiltrated the government, and they basically was, they told Steve, uh, that suit, that shield, it belonged, it's government property, and you belong to us, and Steve was like, well, fuck y'all, you I don't need the shield, and that's where he became the captain with that god awful costume. <laughs> yeah, I would say another good story is um, American Nightmare, where he ba yeah. he battles Nightmare. Um, so those are just a few. I would even say yeah. Cap. I would say for a fun one, the Cap Wolf story. Yeah, yeah, the Cap Wolf story. Yeah, Captain America literally becomes a werewolf, and it's those '90s comic I've ever read. It has Wolverine, Cable... It, all it's missing is Ghost Rider. <laughs> and yeah. Punisher. Um, anyway. So, thank you for those questions, David. Moving on now to Tom Hibbert, whose first question is... While we can all agree the MCU Captain America is probably the best version, do you think he did some questionable things 
throughout the MCU, like keeping a secret from Tony, the fact that Bucky killed his parents. I know he wanted to protect Bucky, but still. Uh, what do you think of that, Chris? Uh, well, sorry about the guys. That's fireworks outside if you hear that popping. Um, I, it's, I agree with, I love Chris Evans as Cap. You know, I'll start with there right that first because there were a lot of people that did not think he was going to be a great Captain America. Uh, and I kept saying he's going to nail that character, and he did. Um, was there some questionable things that he did? I mean, yes, hiding, keeping that that notion that when he found out that Bucky obliterated his I mean, Jesus Christ. What Bucky did to the Starks was just brutal. Um, yeah, it was that was sad. He, he should have told them. But I understood why he did it. You know, I'm like, yeah, that's... And then also to the point, Steve, Tony has to remember, before you, there was Bucky. It was Bucky. So, of course, he's going to protect his, his best friend over his new friend, in a sense. Yeah. You understand what I'm talking about? I, like, think, he, like, I think he also... And, I think he also understood that, like, it, Tony would probably... Do, it would, The reaction would be regardless. Right. Yeah. So I do think it was questionable, but at the same time, I'm like, I get it. Yeah, I, I, I get it. And like I said, like you said, uh, what, who, who, who submitted these? Uh, Tom Hibbert. Tom, uh, I have to agree, like... I know a lot of people always say, well, you know, RDJ is the best. I, I will always put Chris Evans up there, too. Like, nah, he's just a neck and neck. They embodied those characters too damn well. So, just saying. Yeah. So, second question. Uh, who do you think was worse in terms of upholding the hero's legacy? As re Jean Paul Batman or John Walker Captain America? Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna say Asriel. I'm gonna say John Paul Valley just failed. John, uh, like John Paul, like yeah. Let's give the mentally unstable former assassin uh, the title for Batman. You know that can't be wrong, Bruce. Um, with John, I give a little more sympathy to John Walker because he he was manipulated by the government and by Skull and he was already, like, um, being pushed into it. And he was, like, he was trying his best. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, I, I, I'm, I look, guys, I'm not the biggest John Walker fan. I, I'm not U.S. agent. You know, I just, you know, to me, he's always so easily manipulated. And there's a, in uh, the last Chip Zdarsky uh, run of Daredevil, Matt even called him out on that shit and it was like you were she's such a blind you're so blind and loyalist you sometimes you don't even realize what you're doing. He embarrassed embarrassed John. Um it's it's not the first time in hell. Even Sam called him out on his bullshit. I'm not talking MC, I'm talking about in the comics. Uh when, when Sam fought him as Captain America, it was like it was, John Walker is a, a idiot sometimes. It, I, but I, I will say, yeah, John Paul Valley, yeah, is will make the more case. You know, you got a legacy like Batman, you shouldn't be doing the the shit that he was doing. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So moving on to the third question: What would Earth six one six Steve Rogers think of Ultimate Captain America? Not the current one in the Ultimate Universe, but the very infamous one written by Mark Millar. He'd he'd be like. I am disgusted that we are uh, that you know even in the multiverse I'm disgusted that I share you know your face oh yeah no, that most definitely like uh, there I have friends that hated Captain America and I used to have well yeah I hate Captain America and they told me and I was like oh you're talking about ultimate ultimate Captain America and and that that was the case you know Steve would just just be disgusting with him like I, I've said it before and I'll say it again like Ultimate 1610 
Captain America was a borderline racist. Though. There's some shit he said that Ultimate Falcon just... It's like, what the hell did he just say? Like, the way he said... I remember him talking about, like, black soldiers in World War II. Like, they were weak. They, they, they didn't belong. I was like, yo, what the fuck? Like, what's wrong with him, man? Yeah, he, Steve would, he would knock him out real quick. He was like, you a, you a piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's dead. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you for those questions, uh, Tom. Moving on to Dominic Fuentes, who asks, What DC, G.I. Joe, Tekken, Street Fighter, and Danganronpa villains would work as Captain America villains for Stan for for either Steve or Sam Wilson in their rogues gallery? Uh, DC, I would say KG Beast. Yeah. Uh, what about you for DC? Uh, I gotta go Deathstroke. Okay. I gotta go Deathstroke. I definitely would think they would not see eye to eye on a lot of things, and that's definitely one. Uh, G.I. Joe. I mean, literally so all of... Co- this, I command! I, I would say, any literally just throw a dart at any of the Cobra characters. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Just, but yeah, I could definitely see Serpentero. Definitely. You mean Serpentor? What did I say? Serpentor? Yeah. Serpentor. I was like, that dude, that's the Zord. Yeah. That's, that's Zed Zord for Power Rangers. Yeah. Um, Tekken. Alright, who would be the good uh, a good villain from Tekken for Steve and or, and or Sam? Uh... uh Brian Fury. Oh yeah, Fury. Yeah, he's perfect. Brian Fury. Uh, Street Fighter. That's it's it's Bison. Bison. Uh, Relento. Uh, yeah, there's a couple of people. A lot of the Mad Gear gang. All those guys. You know, they're definitely. Yeah, Dungan Robot. I know you don't watch the anime, so I'll field this one. Um, I'm gonna say uh, Bukuro Ikusaba. She's. She's basically a child soldier, and imagine Roberta just ten years younger. Um, yeah. So there's our first question. Second question: If you could do a Captain America comic, what would the story be about? Um, I would say my version of a Captain America comic would be something along the lines of um, maybe have Steve in like a different country. Like I, I kind of like when Steve's outside of America. Like, um, I maybe have it that, like, it's a mission to, like, Japan or, like... Actually, no, I'll tell you what it is. I, it, my story would be Ireland. Like, him in Ireland, and he ends up encountering the IRA. Um, that would be cool, because uh, a lot of people will forget. Uh, Steve is Irish, and his parents were Irish immigrants, so, yeah... People forget that, <laughs> so yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, like maybe like they're like you know you're Captain America, like maybe even having that one of the members of the IRA is like calling himself like Captain Ireland or something, and inspired by Steve, and Steve's like I would never do this. Um, yeah. Or, and then they'd be like, Yeah, you did. You fought a tyrant. You fought, you know, you were fighting tyrants. You were fighting Nazis. We're fighting, you know, we're fighting for our own freedom. And I think that would be like that kind of question of like, what are they like? Is this the right way? Like, is like my name is basically being used to inspire, essentially a terrorist. But are they a terror? Like, you know, they, there was a time where, you know, back in the 1700s, we were called terrorists. Right, right. Yeah. So I think that'd be kind of cool. Like, cap and also like have maybe um, uh, like I don't know, some Irish superheroes from Marvel show up. They need some love. I, I, yeah, like Shamrock and all of them. Yeah, I was going to say Shamrock. What about you? What would be your Cap story? Uh, I kind of would like that. That's kind of where I would go. With, like, Steve uh, kind of goes back to Ireland. For, you know, maybe find some living relatives that maybe are still alive. And they can be like, well, you know, oh, I'm your third cousin, da 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 da, or something like that. Uh, but I always enjoy the stories of Captain America J, J, uh, JMS is doing this right now where we know about Captain America but we don't know a lot about Steve Rogers before he got that serum like what was he really what was his real story why was he why is he the way he is uh, so I, 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 I like that and I, I also like that um, J, 
JMS is kind of writing it where we steamed in, we see Steve in his old neighborhood on the Lower East Side, not Brooklyn, guys. And he's in the same apartment that he used to live in with his mom. And he, he's like a landlord to the, and he's doing like daily stuff. But then he also, he's doing his, his cat work too. Like he goes jogging around the Brooklyn Bridge and, and people just wave at him. He's like, hey, you know, just, I like that normalizing him as well. Just showing like, he's, he's, he's a regular dude too. Like just, just he's, he's a little older than most of us, but he don't look it. So I gotta kind of give like a dehumanizing story to him. Yeah. All right. I like that. Yeah. Um, third question. Uh, do you think if Cap, um, do you think Captain America should become president in the main continuity? I, I mean, he'd get all the votes. Like it wouldn't matter. <laughs> but he wouldn't. Uh... He wouldn't accept it. If Steve became voted, if he he went into office, yeah, it'd be a no question. He would he would obliterate his his, his the competition. Uh, but I I can't really see Steve doing that. Yeah, because he'll he'll feel like you know that that's I I can do more in the field. He remember he'll he'll use the line I'm a soldier, and I'm I'm I'm. I'm more better in the field than behind behind the lines. You know, don't get me wrong. I mean, it would work. Cause look, Luke Cage is the mayor of New York City, and and, and people and voted for him because he was real. Like he he made it very true. Like, look, I'm I'm I respect my other fellow heroes, but I don't hide behind the mask. What you see is what you get with me. Uh, but with Steve, it's just like, yeah, I I'm a soldier. You know. Uh, I belong in the field, not behind. There's too much red I tape. Can, he wouldn't like that. Yeah, I, I could do more. I could do more than just be behind. The, yeah, just something like that. Yeah. So, yeah, it'd be cool, but it'll never happen. Yeah. So, thank you for those questions, Dominic. Uh, moving on now to Hunter Johnson, who asks, "What if Captain America trained Steven Universe? That shield. <laughs> that shield would be a lot more lethal." Yep. Yeah, um, I th I'd love to have a scene where Steven is talking to Ca uh, to like Cap, and he's like, "So how do you do that thing where you like you step on the foot and catch the shield with your hand?" And he's like, "It's it takes a couple tries." <laughs> yeah. Um, I think he'd be a yeah a lot more dangerous with that shield, and also like, I think Cap would also go, "You need probably some therapy." I'll t I know a guy named Leonard Sampson. He he'll he'll talk to you. Yeah. Um, second question: uh, What would a Captain America? What would Captain America think of Soldier from Team Fortress? What a nut! Oh, oh Team Fortress! Yeah. What, what, who? Uh, oh, uh, uh, which, which character? The Soldier. Oh, oh, uh, the Soldier. Uh, who's that? That's the general, right? Yeah, that's the one with the helmet over his head, and he's got the rocket yeah, launcher. Yeah, that looks like uh, Patton. Yeah, yeah, General Patton. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was like, this guy's crazy. Like, yeah. 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 I can see that. I mean, he would think a lot of them, like, even the, the, the black Irish, that black Scotsman who's a demo man. Yeah. It, it, what makes me a good demo man? If I was a bad demo man, I wouldn't be standing here with you. Yeah. I'm sure it's fun as hell. Yeah. And third question, what would a crossover between Captain America and Superman look like? You know, I'm surprised we never got that. I, you know, it's funny. Yeah, I agree with that. I would have thought we would have got that during the 90s, especially when they were doing the whole, when Marvel and DC were playing well with each other and they were doing all these crossover with each other. They had the Superman Fantastic Four crossover, Green Lantern and Silver Server crossover. I would have thought we would have gotten that because... In the Amalgam universe, who did he cross over with? He, who did they combine with? Superman. So, yeah, you would have thought they would have been together, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, okay. Thank you for those questions, Hunter. Moving on now to Jason Voorhees2011, who asks, Which writer would you like to see Cap... Ta Sorry. Oh. Which writer would you like to see tackle a Captain America comic who hasn't already? They, uh, Jason said Daniel Warren Johnson for his pick. Um, That's a good one. I'm gonna say I got two picks in mind. 
Ben Percy and Philip Kennedy Johnson. That was definitely good. Uh, for me... Ooh, um, Maybe even Tom Jet... King. Tom King. I, I, I would love to... He'll never go back to Marvel, though. No, he'll never go back to but Marvel. But Tom King, Captain Tom America... King. Dude, Cap- Tom would, King, Captain America would break your heart. Yeah. Tom King... Uh... Let's see. Um... I, I, I wouldn't mind a Christopher Priest run. I think he could nail Steve. Yeah, he's... Yeah, I'd be, I'd be down for that. Um, he's done. Cap- he did Captain America and the Falcon back in the 2000s, right? Yeah, yeah, he did cap. I would, I would love to see him come back. Yeah. For a, a, a run. Um, Johnson and Percy are my picks. I would also say Jed McKay. Yeah, I, Jed is becoming like Marvel, you know, diamond in the rough with a lot of his stuff, and a lot of Jed McKay stuff is just really good. You know, his Avengers is good. I, I, I'm loving that. Uh, his Moon Knight is just where it's at. You know, and you know, uh, and he, even I mean, his his. I think he's still doing Batman right now. It's not bad. Or is he doing Batman? Uh, no, I, I don't think, think he is. He's no. not. No, that's Chip Zdarsky doing Batman. That's Chip. Sorry, sorry, yeah, sorry, Chip. Uh, but yeah, it, I would mind Jed. All right. As well. Second question: What were your thoughts on a, on the brief time Bucky was Cap? One of the best runs in co- in comics. You saying Bucky as Cap? Yeah, the time. What what were our thoughts on Bucky as Cap? What, what were our thoughts on on how? I enjoy, I, enjoy, I enjoyed it. I wish it lasted a little longer because it was at the same time Dick was Batman, and I was loving Dick Grayson as Batman. It was different. He he was being respectful to Bruce, meaning. In a lot of ways, he didn't use Bruce's bat Batmobile. He had his own Batmobile. He had his own Batcave. It was it was great. And same thing with 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 uh, Buck. He he didn't use the original Cap uniform. He had his own. And I actually and I still to this day want to see that costume live action. I actually like that look. That you know the the fatigue look and everything like that. Yeah. It was great. It was it was fun. It was it was a lot of fun. Also. Bucky was not afraid to kill someone. No, yeah, he wasn't. I mean, the dude carried the gun. He, he, he showed that gun off a lot of times. Yeah. <sighs> so, third question. Given the popularity of X-Men 97, do you think it's possible that the universe could branch out into characters who didn't get a series in the 90s and do one for our favorite star-spangled man with a plan? Or, and how do you think it'd be done? Well, this cap kind of uh, bothers me. <laughs> Honestly. Not backing up Rogue to go find it, man. That's not Steve. Yeah, I, I, I will always hate the fact that they wrote wrote that. I'm like, that's not Steve. Steve would have went no problem. Yeah, he would have been like, um, give me five minutes. <laughs> yeah, give me five minutes. If 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 she if he is like, what you think? I, I if if this is the suit is probably fine. I'll take it off, and he, he would have went. You know, the, the point is, I didn't like that that uh, interpretation of Steve. I was like, that's that's not Steve. He wouldn't have done that. Yeah, he'd you have know? been he'd have been like, like uh, let me go change real quick and put just be yeah. like he'll keep the shield, but like he'd have gone full like commando. Yeah, he would have went. So, uh, you know, I, I think more importantly, look, um, if anything is gonna come out of it. It's more likely Spider Man. That's definitely going to be the first. Yeah. Um, I think it, if, if I don't think I don't think we get a Captain America show. I think we just get Avengers ninety seven. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we would probably just get a, an Avengers or so. I mean, look, I still want another season of Earth's Mighty Heroes, but look, I don't think I'm not saying that Steve can't carry a show. I would would love a. I mean, when my father was a kid, there was old Captain America cartoon so and you know I've watched it it's the funniest stuff that that animation still cracks me up but it's the funniest stuff <laughs> Captain yeah. America throws his mighty shield it's just cracks me up but yeah I, I, I wouldn't have mind yeah so thank you for this question is Jason moving on to Gordon Rajani who asks what are some Sam Captain America comics you would recommend 
uh, the Rick Remender run. Yep. I would even say the Nick Spen his uh, Nick Spencer stories. Mm-hmm. Um, and the Jackson La- Andy Lanning and Jackson Lanning books. Yep. Oh, Although I've only read the one volume. Definitely the, the books. Yeah. yeah, I've only read the one volume so far. Um, there is a, like the thing is is like he's just now getting you know more bo- uh, you know more books. So there really isn't a lot. You could really just throw a throw a stone and you'd probably get a good story out of it. Yeah, most of Sam. I mean, there's, there's this. There was a, a Sam. Uh, well, he was still Falcon at the time. Uh, it's a Falcon book where he, 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 his sidekick is the second Patriot, Rashawn, Rashawn Lucas, um, and Sam is is uh, in Chicago, and um, he's battling uh, a Blackheart because Blackheart is the mayor of Chicago, and it, it's a different look for Blackheart. Uh, it was written by uh, Rodney Barnes. He wrote it. Yeah, I don't. I don't, I don't think I read that. No. no, no, I haven't read that. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So, yeah, those are just a few. Second question: That's a thoughts on Captain Carter from the What If show. I like it. It's fun. I like it. That's all I can say. I, I like it. it. Yeah. <laughs> what about uh, you? I liked it a lot. I like that they even adapted it into the and and some version of her in the MCU. I thought that was fine. Um, look, people, we still love her. And I don't mind that she comes back. Like that just is a testament to her character. Uh, I know they made a comic. I didn't finish reading all of it. Uh, I know it's out in trade. I, I probably got to pick it up. Uh, but I didn't mind it. I know what was cool about that comic was her partner was her version of uh, Betsy Braddock. So Psylocke was her partner in that. So it was pretty cool. Yeah. So. So second question. I mean, that was the second question, sorry. Third question. If Captain America, either Steve or Sam, teamed up with or joined G.I. Joe, which of the Joes would he get along best with? Well, Steve and... I, I honestly think Steve and Duke would be friends. Yeah. Um, I think Sam would get along with... Um, with Fl- Actually, I think Sam would get along best with, like... Um, I'd say Scarlet. I, I, I would say that. I would say he'd probably get along great with Spirit. Oh, yeah. Spirit. Um, him and Spirit would be friends. Spirit, uh, High Kick. Uh, both would get along well with Snake Eyes. Uh, 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 Beachhead would definitely be kind of with Steve. And sometimes Steve would probably wouldn't, wouldn't put up with Beachhead's uh, ego. Like, yo, simmer it down. <laughs> you know? Because uh, Beach I can get really uh, pig at it sometimes. But yeah, they, they, they would get along well with both of them. Yeah. So, thank you for those questions, Gordon. Moving on now to Christopher Rosa, who asks What would your idea be for a Captain America movie starring Steve and Sam look like? I mean, we kind of got those movies. Yeah, we, got, uh, uh, yeah, we already got those movies. I mean, but I, are we saying. Like They're both Captain America, and in that case, just just do Cold War. Yeah, I guess yeah, that'd be the only thing to do. Yeah, that or the Serpent Society. Finally. Yep. Yeah, that's all I could say. <laughs> that's all I can say, really. Yeah. yeah. Second question: What are your favorite Captain America comics and story arcs starring Steve and Sam Wilson? <laughs> um, I love Cap Wolf because of how dumb it is. <laughs> Uh, I well, I, I guess definitely all of Ed Brubaker's run. Um, Ed Brubaker gave you everything you wanted in a Captain America. He gave you espionage. It, it felt like it was different. It felt like a spy novel, and I loved that. It was it was great. It, it kind of went James Bondish, and of course, Brubaker did the one thing that nobody ever thought about doing. Bring him back, Bucky. A character who nearly stayed dead. Nobody brought him back. And, and then, and even explaining how he came back, that was the that was the gravy. It wasn't just, oh, he's back. No. Brubaker went into detail of how he survived, why he doesn't look so old, 
this and it made sense and that's where you're like okay that makes sense he only comes out every 10 years they put him in a deep sleep he comes back out yeah i was like okay it makes sense yeah i'd say my favorite um some of my favorite runs i wouldn't say story arcs but my favorite runs uh rick remender uh, Mark Wade especially, and Christopher yeah, Priest. I was just about to say Mark Wade. Run his, run his run. Yeah. I'd even say Christopher Priest, um, the Captain America Falcon run. Right. Yeah. Um, so there's just a few. That, uh, third question. Uh, how would you write a story that where you had to rewrite X-Men 97, giving Steve Rogers a bigger role and adding Sam? We just did this. Yeah, we, yeah, we just kind of did that. Yeah. Thank you for those questions, though, regardless, Christopher. Um, moving on now to Brittany Digger, who asks, "What are your thoughts on Captain? Ex excuse me. What are your thoughts on 1950s William Burnside Captain America? No shit, we're going with a deep cut here. The Captain America from the 1950s. Yeah, uh, I, I think a lot of people forget that when Steve went missing in the 40s, America kept Steve or Captain America around. There was there was a, a, a 1950s." Cap, and yeah, that's him. Yeah, he went insane. Yeah, he went insane. Yeah, he did go insane. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think he'd be cool to bring in the MCU. Yeah, like, they they because they brought in a couple of they brought in Jefferson Mace and all these other characters. I was like, whoa, they, they're going deep. They brought in the first Patriot, Jefferson Mace, Isaiah, of course. Of yeah, like uh, Isaiah. <laughs> Yeah, so I think William Burnside would be cool. Yeah, just uh, don't, don't have him go crazy. Yeah. Second question. Oh, sorry. Did you have more to that? Oh, yeah, I was going to say, I mean, look at what they, look how they brought in uh, Isaiah Bradley. Yeah. I mean, that was a smart way of bringing him in. They they still kept him a soldier instead of World War Two. What did they do? They did Korean War. It made sense. It was like, okay, still made sense. Yeah. Uh, second question. Uh, do you know about the main villain in the 70s Secret Empire story arc being Richard Nixon? I remember hearing about that. What? I don't remember that at all. Okay, wow. okay. So, basically in the 1970s, the Secret Empire was an actual thing. It was an actual faction. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. Secret Empire, yeah. Yeah, but in the 70s, like, Captain America discovered that Richard Nixon was behind uh, the Secret Empire. But they, what? Yeah. I don't know, like, obviously, having Nixon in the 70s. What? Nixon in the 70s being a scumbag? Are you... That's oh some... My. Man, I'm that's so original. You. I'm a, I hate you, America. <laughs> that's good. Um, thank, you for that, thank you for letting everyone uh, share in that knowledge, Brittany. Third question. Have you seen the 1990s Captain America movie with a heavy heart? Yes. Yes, I, I have. Um, I remember all those early 90s. I I can't with that. Yeah. You want to talk oh, about, oh, the movie Marvel movies are bad now. Motherfucker, you weren't there in the 90s. I, I, I can't. I can't with those, especially. I mean, I, all, I, all I remember is they, Red Skull was Italian. I was like, wait, what? And it just, it, I just couldn't get in. I was like, the, oh, Jesus, I'm like, yeah. come on. So the the costume, the the, the, the the Captain America costume didn't really look right. I mean, uh, it's just, I, I can't. Yeah. Um, thank you for those questions, Brittany. Moving on now to Cyborg nineteen point nine nine, who asks, uh, what cartoon, video game, movie, and anime would you cross over with Captain America? I know I already did this one. Well, I, this, okay. they're, it's like cartoon, video game, movie, and anime. Alright. I hate when they get pedantic. Um, I guess cartoon, it would be G.I. Joe, obviously. Video game, yeah. I would say Splinter Cell. I would, I would, I, yeah, I was going to also go Metal Gear Solid for some reason. <laughs> yeah. I, just to have, like, Sam Fisher and Steve team up. Right. Yeah. Movie, uh, fuck, I don't know, John Wick. <laughs> uh, 
anime, probably Black Lagoon. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I'll go that one. Yeah. I, 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 movie, I'll also go Sky High. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Sky High for some reason. I'll take yeah. that one. Alright, second question. What DC villains would be part of Captain America Rogue's Gallery? Well, we talked about Deathstroke. Yeah. Um, we said KG Beast. Yeah, KG Beast. Um, um, I'll, I'll add a, a... There was a couple more I actually had on my list. Uh, um, uh, first, I can see Lady Shiva being up there, too. I was like, yeah, I can see her doing that. Yeah. Um... Uh, and uh, uh, I'd say Peacemaker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna go Peacemaker. Yeah. Oh, Amanda Waller. There we go. Yeah. Um, uh, I'd even say probably for one more, I would probably pick like um, Deadshot. Yeah, Deadshot could be up there, too. Yeah. Third question. What DC characters do you see interacting with Captain America the most? Well, we've already talked about Clark. Mm -hmm. I would uh, I would say, like, the one character he'd probably interact the most with, and it, it, it's a little out there, but I'd say Steel. Steel. Um, Uncle uh, Sam. Pretty much his, his counterpart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Uncle uh, Sam. <laughs> The, yeah, the shield. Oh, 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 man, I'm forgetting it. No, I mean, um, I mean, like literally, Uncle Sam, the spirit of. Oh, Uncle Sam. No, I was, I was gonna say, um, Captain America's DC counterpart. He was oh. Actually created by Jack and Joe Simon. Uh, damn it, what is his name? Uh, uh Mal Duncan was him. Fuck, what is his name? I'm Guardian. Name. It's Guardian. Yeah. Yeah, Guardian. Yeah, I can see that too. Yeah. All right. Thank you for those questions, Cyborg. Moving on now to uh, Alistair Bondman, who asks, "What do you uh, What do you think a Sam Wilson, Cap, and Laura Kinney uh, Wolverine team up be like?" Okay, like a Sa uh, okay Sam and and Laura team up. I don't think we've had that. I don't think we've ever had Laura team up with Sam. I think Sam would be very interested because I go. He would probably be like, "Okay, so." Wolverine is your pops, right? Is he's, he's really your pops? Like, and she like, yeah, I'm, I'm his clone, technically. You'd be like, all right, I've so heard I'd, weirder. I'd be like, wait, what? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can see Laura Bailey saying, "So do you really talk to birds?" Like, he's like, yeah, I can talk to them. Like, Nia's like, are you sure you ain't a mutant? Yeah, you, yeah, she, that would be that. You sure you're not a mutant? No, he'd be like, no. I I got my powers from the cosmic cube. Yeah. Um, although I bet you that would be a retcon. That's a very possible retcon that they'd be like, oh, the Cosmic Cube woke up his mutant ability. I guarantee we yeah, might they, see that they, in the future. They could do that. And you know what? Even if they did do that, I would not be mad about it. I'm like, okay, Sam's a mutant. Okay, he can communicate with bird life. Okay. Yeah. Um, I would say I would go one step further. I would do like a new version of the Mandrapore Knight storyline uh, from Chris Claremont. And add in, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and add in um, the White Widow, like have the three of them team up, like Sam, Laura, and um, Yelena. Yelena, have them all team up in Mandrapore or something. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, I'd take that too. Yeah. All right. Second question. I'm not totally up to date on Captain America, either Steve or Sam status quo, like whether or not Sam is still Cap or not. But if not, do you think, uh, like Kate Bishop, Hawkeye, or Miles, Spider-Man, we'll cut to the chase. He's still, he's, he's Cap. Yeah, he's, they're both Captain America. They're still, they're still sharing the title. Sam is on the Avengers. Steve is, uh, right now, is leading a Avengers squad while the main team is dealing with the vampire threat. Yeah. And we do know Steve will get, he will lead another Avengers team they're gonna be back in the Avengers mansion and his his squad is pretty damn tight I was like that's a that's a pretty good team I was like okay yeah um so yes Sam's cap uh 
Third question. A friend of me, a friend of mine, recently told me that Hydra Cap uh, was being made into a villain for X Men. I'm at and must ask why is Marvel trying to make Hydra Cap Steve a thing and not bury him like the mistake he was? I mean, you got the character. Why not? <laughs> yeah, I, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I'm not sure, but I don't know what they're gonna do. I, I last time I saw him, he was. What was he doing? He was he was uh, Captain Krakoa. Yeah, he's Captain Krakoa. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And Steve dealt with him in in that the Uncanny uh, Avengers miniseries. So yeah, I, I look. I, they knew they fucked up with that trying to make like oh yeah we're gonna have Cap go with with Hydra like that was dumb. They knew they fucked up, so we had to make something up. Yeah. So there you go. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Bill McLaughlin asks, and well, first he starts with, when Captain America throws his mighty shield. See? I don't see. If there it is. Yeah. Uh, what Captain America villain do you think is underrated? Underrated uh, Captain America villain. I'm going to say Dr. Faustus. Uh, Dr. Faustus. I was definitely going to say Badrock. Yeah, Badrock. Um, or Flag Not Smasher. Um, uh, Baron Blood. It's really, I would, like, I, when I found out, like, I heard that Baron Blood is in the Avengers storyline for Blood Hunt, I was like, oh shit, that's awesome. Yeah, uh, you know, Crossbones is always getting pushed out there. He's probably, that's probably Steve's number two most iconic, uh, you know, villain. Uh, but yeah, th those are a few that I can think of. Yeah, I'd say Faustus, um, uh, Flag Smasher. Flag Smasher, yeah. Uh, I, I don't even throw the Serpent Society in it. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, Ser uh, I was gonna oh, say man, Serpent like, Society too. Alright, second question. Do you think, who do you think gives more inspirational speeches? Captain America, Optimus Prime, or King Theoden from Lord of the Rings? I have not heard Fadden's themes, uh, his, his speeches. I, I'm going to go with a tie between Steve and Optimus. Yeah, I'm going to say that. Um, I mean, you can't go with without five seconds. I, I'm going to give it slightly to Prime. Just slightly. But anyway. Yeah. Third question. What object outside of comics do you feel could shatter Cap Shield? An object outside of comics that could shatter Cap Shield. What do you got? Uh, I'm gonna say a nuke. <laughs> That's like, uh, yeah, but there's some kind of big H bomb could probably blow that thing up. Um, uh, yeah, it's about I'll go there. All right. I, I really got nothing that could probably a light, maybe a lightsaber, but we're not gonna have that conversation. Yeah. Um. Next up, Nolan Inejo, who asks, uh, "What non-comic characters could make good hot howling commandos?" Sam uh, Fisher. Yeah, Sam Fisher. I would say we're not gonna pick GI Joe. That's too easy. I'm gonna say yeah, Sam, yeah, Sam Fisher. Uh, I'm definitely going for it. Solid Snake. Uh, a lot, a lot of, a lot of Metal Gear characters can be a big. Yeah, I'm, there you go for me. That's a lot of, a lot of them. I'm gonna say uh, Jackie Briggs because I use Jacks too much. Uh, Jackie yeah. Briggs. I'm gonna say Raven from Tekken. Um. I would even say Sergeant Johnson from Halo. This is just a few. Third question: What would Captain America think of Captain Rex from the and the Five O First? Captain Rex from Star Wars uh, the, and the Five O First. Oh, you got to answer that. I don't think I've watched that. Sorry. So Rex, I think he and Rex would get along. I think like he would under like the two soldiers would understand like. You know, we follow orders, but, like, there's sometimes orders that we just can't follow. Um, something like that. Third question. 
What Cap uh, Captain America watches T uh, Team America World Police. What happens next? Cap uh, returns the movie back to the store and goes, "I do not. I did not like it." <laughs> That's what happens. He just promptly takes it out and takes it back to the red box or returns it to the store to whatever store and goes, "I did not like this movie." <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Um, so finally, our our last set of questions come from some guy, Mount Vernon kid. I don't I don't know him. Yeah, that dork. Yeah. Um, first question: Would you enjoy a full blown mini series that focuses on Steve not uh, not being frozen after World War II and continue to represent Captain America? Like during the Korean War, v even Vietnam War. I know they've played with that, but I'd love to see like a full-on comic, like maybe done by like that would be the Tom King comic. Yeah. Uh, that would rip your heart out. Um, uh, I would love to see that. I think that would be really cool. I know they played with it a bit in Spider-Man Life Story, but yeah, they, they, yeah, they, that's why I brought it up. They actually played with that a little bit. Yeah. So, yeah, I'd be down for it. It'd just rip your heart out. Um, second question. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate a story of a what-if where Steve got brainwashed and became the Winter Soldier and Bucky replaced him to become a new version of a Super Soldier? You know, I'm surprised that never happened. I'm genuinely shocked that we never got that. Um, yeah, that could have been, been like a what-if dark yeah, that could have been a great what if dark, or just what if in general. Uh, yeah. Third question. One of my favorite variations of Captain America is Danielle Cage. Uh, what variation of Captain America do you, that you like that isn't Sam, Bucky, John? Um, I did kind of li like, I can't remember their names, but I like the Captain America from the United States of Captain America. I liked all of them. Uh, oh, okay. I liked. Um, I did like, oh, what was it? The Captain, like uh, Captain America from Mar from like the uh, Spider Girl era. Yeah, yeah, that, she was cool. Yeah. I, I, I also was gonna put um, Captain America twenty ninety nine, where she basically is kind of like, like she doesn't even know she is because she she gets it's like it's it's a it's kind of like how they they played off. Remember how. In the Spider-Man cartoon, when Black Cat would, she would turn into like all muscular. That's yeah. How they did it. Oh, yeah. Um, and this person also sent me a fourth question. <laughs> yeah, so, I don't know who did that. Yeah, someone broke the damn rules, so I'm gonna let them answer this question. I'm gonna let them field this one. And the question is, uh. Who would you get to write a Captain America Indiana Jones crossover? I don't know, Chris. Who would you get to write this crossover? Uh. Uh. Wait. I have one. Uh. Uh. Jed McKay. Okay. Yeah. I would say. Bring Brubaker back. Brubaker? Yeah, I'd pick Brubaker. Or. I would pick, um, if we're gonna pick, like, DC writers, I would say, since he's been good at, he's been knocking it out with, uh, crossovers, I'd say James Tinian. Oh, yeah. I think Tinian would really get the adventure part of it. Um, if not him, I'd even say, like, maybe Salad and Ahmed. That'd be cool, too. And I keep forgetting, yeah, um, yeah, technically, Marvel can do Indiana Jones comics. I forgot to do, I forgot that. They can, they can. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I, I, I just, when I was told to be on there, I was like, yeah, let me throw another one in there. Yeah. So, there you go, guys. Um, that is uh, all the uh, Captain America Q&A. Uh, I want to thank uh, Chris for coming on board and being a part of this Q&A. This is a lot of fun. Um, I think this is going to be our longest Q&A yet, yet of this time, of this era. I think so. Yeah, it's uh, we're we're getting close to like almost an hour. Oh, yeah. I, I'll, it's funny because have you done Superman yet? I have not done Superman yet. 
Well, I'm doing Superman, guys. So, <laughs> <laughs> so if you like, if don't matter, if you like to come over to my Patreon, no, I'm just, I don't mean that. <laughs> you, no, seriously, if you like to come over, no matter what, free member is for anybody. You can come over and submit your questions over there. I am now submitting four questions for everybody. Uh, there are going to be two Q and A's. Uh, I, I'm supposed to have finished uh, one for video games, but uh, people wanted to wait, do some more time, so I said I'll wait a little bit longer. And I'm going to do the Man of Steel. I thought it'd be cool to do Superman, especially with all the the uh, you know all the leeway he's getting now. With you know more pictures are coming out of what's coming on set. On the Superman movie, I'm like, okay, let's do Superman. All right. So, um, yeah. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> don't forget to subscribe to Mr. Multiverse, guys. I'm, I, I didn't mean that. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Thanks for the nice recovery. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so once again, I'd like to thank everyone uh, being a part of this Q and A. I'd like to thank for, oh, I'd like to thank Chris for joining me uh, for this Q and A. I don't know. Maybe this would be kind of cool to do like. Um, more Q and A's with uh, teaming up with people. These uh, these are kind of fun. Yeah, I, 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 you catch me when you can. I'll be I'll be glad to do another one, depending on the character or so. Yeah. Because I, I want to give everybody a free chance to, so you know everybody should be get a chance to work with multi. So if you can. Yeah. So. Anyway. All right. Well, other than that, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the multiverse. <laughs>